Bamboo swimming crab is one of the small-scale fishery products that have immense social and economic impact to the millions of artisanal fishers and other fishers who rely on their livelihood to these crabs. There are more than 65,000 fishers and 13,000 crab pickers involved on this fishery industry. Blue swimming crab is one of the Indonesia's most important fishery commodity and serves as the fourth fisheries export commodities after tuna, shrimp, and seaweed. 80% of the blue swimming crabs are exported to the U.S. market. With the support from Sustainable Fisheries Partnership, SFP, Indonesia Blue Swimming Crab Association's APRI attempt to improve the compliance towards Indonesia's government regulations, such as minimum legal size of 10 cm, restrictions to catch bare female crabs, and ban the usage of trolls. That eventually, with the applications of these regulations, it will improve the sustainability of blue swimming crab fisheries. To improve the compliance of blue swimming crab products, APRI, SFP, and NFI crab councils are now implementing control document activities. Control document is a layer of warranty provided by the supplier to the buyer. Within the letter, the buyer certifies to the best of his knowledge that the products purchased from him are legally caught and comply to the national and international laws. The document control has been established by APRI, SAP, and NFI CREP Council since 2015. This uh, document control developed in order to follow up the new regulations by Indonesian government. So this document uh, control is really important to make sure that the compliance on these regulations uh, uh, are fully implemented in the ground. To change the fishing gears from gill net to the trap trials is one of the activity that support compliance of the blue swimming crabs catching. So we are hoping that all APRI members, uh, besides implementing the sustainability activities, we are also hoping that the document control also help us to have a traceability system uh, from the fishermen to mini plants and also to the processing plants. This will comply to all uh, rules uh, and regulations in Indonesia, also in the uh, importing countries. To support traceability and spatial data system in the blue swimming crab fisheries management, some of the pelagic data systems are set up in 150 boats in Indonesia to track down the fishing operation and map up the fishing ground. The sustainable blue swimming crab fisheries will benefit all involving parties. A collective awareness of all stakeholders, including the buyers, is needed for the synergy between economic and environmental interest. Increased blue swimming crab population not only will improve the fisheries welfare, but also will protect the sustainability of the marine ecosystem.